Hello friends, welcome to Sculptured Painting. Today we are going to be making this cute little imposter. I don't know, is there an imposter among us? We'll find out. So to do this project, you're gonna need the following supplies. You'll need a canvas or an art canvas board. You need a piece of cardstock, something to draw or write with, pencil, pen, crayon, anything. A pair of scissors, masking tape. You'll also need a paintbrush, some Mod Podge, and some tissue paper. But first things first, let's get down to cutting out what we need to do to make our little character. So what we're going to be doing is basically drawing a picture of an Among Us character on this cardstock, and we're gonna cut it out and attach it to our media panel. So the first thing I wanna do is sort of draw a line on my cardstock so that I don't make my character bigger than what he's gonna go on. So first thing I'm gonna do is start by just making a curved line like this. It's like an upside down U, okay? Then over here where his goggles go, I'm gonna draw a little circle and I want that to stick out like that. So his goggles are gonna stick out beyond the side of his face. Now we're gonna make some legs, okay? We're just gonna draw some straight lines in from the outside of our U shape, almost to the middle. And then we're just gonna make a little square like that. So there's his basic body, and there's one more part, which is the backpack. And the backpack is just a little U-shape like that. So now we have our basic character shape. I wanna just point out a couple of proportion things. Um, on the Among Us characters, the backpack usually goes from about mid-eyeball level, so that's where I started my backpack. And it ends right down here, right above where the legs end, okay? So if you wanna line it up like that, you can sort of see how big to make your backpack, okay? So now we're gonna cut this out. So there we have our little guy. Now, I'm gonna put this little guy on top of my art panel or canvas or any, any flat surface you can really do this on. And I'm gonna trace him, okay? So I'm gonna hold him down. First I wanna decide, do I want this little guy to be going sideways? Maybe he's floating in space? I think I'm gonna do that. Or you could just make him go straight up and down. I'm gonna make this guy a little sideways. And I'm going to trace around the outside edge of this guy. Now, any marks you're doing on your canvas board right now are all gonna be covered up in the end, so it doesn't matter if you make a mistake or if you have a little scribble or something, no one's ever gonna see that, okay? Now we have the basic outline of our guy, and we're gonna cut out one more thing. So I'm gonna take what's left of my cardstock here, and I'm gonna cut a little piece out to go on top of this so we can make him even more three-dimensional and have the goggles stick out. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball about how big I need this oval to be. Cut myself out a little, little rectangle. And then I'm just going to round the edges. This does not need to line up perfectly with the goggles you've already drawn, okay? Because we're gonna be building this guy in layers. Okay, so now I've got little eye goggles. I'm gonna take this cardstock, these two pieces, and set them aside for a bit. And now we're gonna move on to tape. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in this whole space of this guy's body with rolls of tape. This is gonna give us some of the three-dimensional quality that we're looking for. If you look at this finished one, if you look at it sideways, you can see he sticks out a little bit from the canvas, and also his goggles stick out further than the rest of them, okay? So we wanna give this some dimension and we're just gonna use our regular tape rolling technique 
make a nice big long roll of tape. We're going to use doesn't have to be any short pieces of tape in this project because it's all got to be filled in. I'm just going to pick a spot to start and sort of make an outline, sort of go over my outline that I've created with pencil and go all the way around the guy. Doesn't matter if your tape is lumpy, because ultimately we're gonna put a smooth piece of cardboard on top of it. So your Among Us character will not be lumpy, even if your tape is. Go all the way down here. I'm just gonna use this little extra bit to just keep following my line. So I'm gonna to continue to just roll some tape and fill this all in. You don't have to keep following around this way. You can put your tape in in all different kinds of directions. It really doesn't matter. But the more tape you put on and the thicker the layer is, the, the further your little Among Us character will pop out of your canvas. So now we have our whole outline covered in a pretty thick layer of tape. That's how far up our little Among Us guy is gonna stick out off of that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cutout that we made and put it right on top of this tape, press it down so it's sticking on all sides. If I have a little spot that's sticking out, I'm just gonna sort of shove it in there. Make sure that each part of the guy's little form is stuck to the thing. So I wanna make sure his head, his goggles, his backpack, and his feet are stuck really well. Okay, so now we're gonna three-dimensionalize the goggles. So we have this other little cutout that we made um, because this is a different size than this shape right here. I'm gonna put the tape directly on the goggles and then stick it on like that, okay? So same process, take little tape rolls. Remember it's sticky side out. You wanna make sure you're making it sticky so it will adhere to the face of our little character. Our little astronaut. So you don't need to put quite as much tape on the goggles as you did on the rest of the body. Just enough to make it stick up and stick out and stick to the thing. I'm gonna put one more little piece in the middle there because there's kind of a hole. Okay, so there's my goggles. Now I'm gonna stick it right on his face. Just like that. All right, and there is your step one. Now I wanna go ahead and look around the edges here. And I see some spots where it's not sticking very well. So you could push that down but if you want your guy to not get any flatter, if you want him to still stick out quite a bit, what you can do is take some more tape and stick it under there, which I think I'm gonna do on this backpack because I don't want it to get deflated looking. So 
I'm just gonna take one more little tape roll here, sticky side out, and I'm gonna just sort of wedge it in there under the side. And then the extra I'll just put up towards his head. Okay, same thing down here with the foot. I'm gonna repeat this in a couple of areas and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, now we've got them pretty secured. Next up is I'm gonna take my pencil or maybe the back of a paintbrush, the non-bristle end. I'm just gonna go around and sort of push, whoops, push all the corners in or any of the tape that's sticking out beyond my cardboard cutout here. I'm just gonna sort of push it in. There we go. So he has nice smooth edges. Because Among Us characters are very smooth looking. All right, and also down there under his backpack. Okay, now we're ready to use some Mod Podge and some tissue paper. Now you guys have little bottles of Mod Podge that look like this. Um, mine ran out, so I'm using a big bottle of Mod Podge. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in the lid here. Okay, so I've got some pieces of tissue paper ready to go, already cut up or ripped up. They don't have to be cut. And I'm gonna use my stiff bristled brush. So previously when we've done sculptured painting projects, there has been tape that we're sticking this tissue paper to. Um, but since we're sticking it to something that's not already sticky, we're actually gonna to have to put some Mod Podge down first. Just pick an area to start and paint over. Just one little area at a time, like we can start with his backpack. So I'm gonna paint on top of him, but I also wanna paint next to him. Okay, and this is gonna dry very quickly on your canvas board, so you gotta kinda of work quick. And then I'm gonna put a piece of tissue paper down there and then paint over top of it. And I'm gonna push it down around the edges of his little backpack. Paint it down, push it down, smoosh it in. Take a little bit more here. And then to make this extra secure, oops, I'm gonna do a couple more pieces around the edge here. So the important part, as far as making it sturdy and nice and, you know, solid so it won't fall apart, is to get all the way around the edges. And then we can just do a few extra pieces in the middle. I take my brush, poke it in, that little corner there. And get some more Mod Podge. And paint it down. We're just gonna repeat this all the way around the body. And then the eyes. Just think in layers. You need a layer of Mod Podge. And then a layer of tissue paper. Push it down, and then you need another layer of Mod Podge on top of that. And then you're gonna add more tissue paper as well.
All right, so I've made my way all the way around the outline of his body except for these goggles, um, which we'll do next. But I just wanna point something out um, before we go any further. Mod Podge is obviously got some water in it and paper and water together can make paper mushy. So this cardstock is getting really kind of lumpy and uh, wavy because it's currently wet from the Mod Podge, but that will even out some once it dries. So don't worry about it too much. Before we move on to the goggles, we are gonna take some time to fill in the middle of this guy with some tissue paper so that we have a smooth surface to paint on eventually. I'm gonna give them a couple layers. Remember to always put Mod Podge underneath and on top of each piece of tissue paper. Otherwise you'll get weird little bubbles. Okay, now that we are about to the goggles, I'm gonna start with putting a little bit of Mod Podge on top of the goggles. And then I'm gonna gently lay some of this stuff on and then poke it down around the sides. So the purpose of all of these edge pieces of tissue paper is to seal in the edge where one layer meets another, where, where the goggles meet the body and then where the body meets the background. Okay. So I did two pieces there. I'm gonna put on an, at least one more piece before I move around to the outside edge of the Googles. Did I say Googles? I did, okay. All right, so now you can see it's mostly encompassed except for this little area right here. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have a couple of larger pieces um, so that they can go all the way from here to down here and have enough room to bridge that gap. I'm just getting a couple more pieces of tissue paper here. All right, start with some Mod Podge on the background. A little bit on the goggles. Take a bigger piece. Let's start on the background here and sort of tap it in around the edge of the goggles before I like wrap it and kind of fold it up over the goggles. Okay, so I've got it up there. And then I'm gonna mush it down. Just gonna keep repeating this three or four times around the goggles. And then we'll check the rest of our guy and see if he needs any patch jobs anywhere before we let it dry and move on to painting. Okay, so now the last step before we move on to painting is our, our check of the edges and borders. I see a couple of little spots in here. I don't know if the camera's picking them up, but where the tissue paper is not quite fully covering. So I'm gonna just redo a layer in this area, just add some more to it. Sturdiness is key. You do want it to be kind of indestructible. Let's take another look. Checking for holes, checking for holes, but also checking to make sure that there's no folded edges of tissue paper that aren't smoothed down. We wanna make sure everything is smooth as smooth as possible. There will be some lumps, but we don't want any big um, edges of the tissue paper coming up from the rest of the artwork. 
looks fairly solid. There's a little spot right here that could use some more tissue paper. So we'll do this guy, this little area here. There you have that. It's real messy looking right now, but once it dries, we can give it a nice coat of paint. What I am going to do before that, though, is I'm going to take some extra Mod Podge and just paint the rest of this canvas. So anyway, I'm adding some more Mod Podge to the edges around here so that when we are ready to paint it, we're painting on the same surface. So if I had left these areas kind of just unmod podged, this surface here would be different from this and the paint would look different on it. So we wanna make sure it's fully covered. Covered and tapped down. All right, so because this is on paper um, and canvas board, it is probably gonna dry a lot quicker than your other projects that you've done. However, it's more important than it's ever been to make sure it's 100% dry because while the Mod Podge on the outside may dry first, if the paper, the cardboard underneath is still wet and you paint it, it's gonna cause it to be really wrinkly and wavy. So I would give this at least a day to dry. Um, or if you have a blow dryer and you wanna dry it that way, do it on low, the lowest setting, and keep the blow dryer moving so it doesn't cause the Mod Podge to bubble. All right, we'll be back in the next video and we will paint this guy. Thank you.